So I was commenting, commenting on another fellow um, YouTuber's video, and in that he was talking about rotating parts for inspection. And I commented about um, using a motor driver of some sort. Now, I did try and send a link on that video. I tried it twice, and the eBay links seemed to get deleted. And, yeah, so, anyway, if you see this, this will be sort of what I'm talking about. Um, now, I haven't had one of these before. I've just something I've seen, and I've been thinking about getting one for Triumph for um, odds and ends. But, um, basically, obviously, it's just got your potentiometer and your wiring. There you go, to tell you what you can and can't do there, I suppose. Um, looks like with all this um, enable direction and all this stuff here, it looks like you can control this remotely if you so choose to. Um, this here indicates that you start and sw start stop, you reverse it if you wanted to do that, and obviously you um, turn your potentiometer to change your speed um, the specs don't really say that I can see um, how much current they can handle I wouldn't assume it would be more than a couple of amps at 12 volts but I'm not too sure on that um, probably have to do a little bit more looking into it I have used these type of um, H bridges before for various things um, you can run stepper motors with these not that you'd be doing that with the project you're doing, but um, these also take a PWM, I think, here. Um, so you can control these via uh, Arduino, if that's what you wanted to do. Which, if you were rotating a part, um, and you could like rotate it one direction at a certain speed, pause, and then rotate it back at a different speed if you wanted to do some programming, that would make it something simple but then complicated if you're not really up with the Arduino stuff there are some good tutorials on it but um if you're not up with it which I'm not really but um yeah the program can be a little bit of something and I was thinking you know just a geared mode or something along the lines of perhaps this one here um I don't know these are just my thoughts Obviously, if you've already got a little motor kicking around, something similar to this, it would probably still do the job. And if you used a um, variable resistor like you're talking about, having one, if you've got a real small motor, it would be all right, but having one that, to run um, heavier currents may be an issue, but it may not be. I'm not sure what you have in stock. But, um, yeah, that's just my thoughts on the these little motor driver things. I mean, Interesting to see how they go. But, um, yeah. We've used a few of these before, the um, IB2 controllers. These are good for um, heavy duty um, amperage. I think these are 30 amp? I don't know. They do claim to be a lot more than what I think they actually are. They've got decent sized heat sinks on the back. But again, you gotta use a um Arduino or something like that to control these. Um basically I think if you use a variable resistor, you basically cut the voltage back and you lose torque, is that correct? And these PWM controllers, I'm pretty sure you maintain your maximum torque even through all RPM ranges. I don't know. Um, someone who knows stuff more about it than I do, maybe had a comment or something on that. But um, anyway, these are some of the controls that are around. Like that first one I pointed out with the um, potentiometer, something along those lines, I'm guessing might be um, more suitable for what you're trying to do. But of course, just a, connecting a wire and turning and it with a little um, DC motor will probably do too. Just depends how flash you want to be. Anyway, just a couple of ideas.